In this video, we will be talking about what is a healthy or normal endometrium thickness that can help a pregnancy to happen. So endometrium thickness, when I'm talking about endometrium, I mean the uh, inner uterine lining. So a healthy range for a healthy pregnancy to happen is somewhere between 0.8 to 1.2 centimeters. Anywhere outside this range, uh, it will be much more difficult uh, for pregnancy to happen. So if you are somebody who has a regular 28 day uh, menstrual cycle, uh, you can go for a, a measurement checkup to measure your endometrium lining. You will use ultrasound to do it and you can go around the 22nd or 23rd day to get it done. For somebody who is uh, not having regular periods or regular menstrual cycle, if you're missing it uh, occasionally, for someone like that, you may need to do this measurement uh, examination every two to three days because this is the only way, the best way that you can uh, uh, figure out which day is actually the thickest. So in the next month, you can go for a pregnancy on that day. So every two to three days, you go for a measurement and then your gynae or your doctor will help you determine amongst all these checkups within this month which day you have is the uh, thickest. So if you have, uh, it is important to go these tests on specified days. For example, I mentioned the 22nd or 23rd day. This is important because if you go too early, your endometrium is not started to thicken yet. So the measurement come uh, that is measured is inaccurate. Let's say if you go past 22nd or 23rd day, you go on the 24th or 25th day, the endometrium is already starting to shed as per the mens menstrual cycle. So the measurement will be inaccurate as well. So it's very important to be very specific uh, on which day you go for this uh, examination. If you have um, an endometrium thickness that is way below the range, uh, range of a healthy thickness, for example, you might be in the range of 0 0.4, 0 0.5. This may be due to an underlying condition known as intrauterine adhesions. So this condition can be diagnosed and also treated using 3D laparoscopy. If your endometrium thickness is found to be too thick, way above the range of 1.2 uh, centimeters. This may be due to another underlying condition known as PCOS. So PCOS is very hormonally uh, related and it can influence the thickness of your endometrium. So PCOS can also be diagnosed and we can also use 3D laparoscopy to remove the excessive and uh, present testicular tissue or in the ovaries that is causing the PCOS. All of these conditions can be diagnosed and uh, treated. So if you, have, if you are going for a pregnancy or if you want to determine whether or not your endometrium thickness is healthy, for regular people with regular menstrual cycle, 28 day cycle, 22nd and 23rd day. That's the best day for you to go for this test. For people who are not having a regular menstrual cycle, you need to do it the hard way. Go for this test two to three days for a month. Figure out which day is the thickest and then you can try for pregnancy next month.